And it was through my pain, my place of pain that got turned to a place of purpose and that turned to a place of power and profit. You know, so for us to be able to go to the marketplace, one, we need to know who we are. What is your journey? What are you burdened about? You know, what do you want to help people with? Because this is the same place that God is going to unleash you into your greatness. Discover the hidden mysteries of wealth and entrepreneurial success placed in scripture to advance God's kingdom. This is the Ms. Bankable Show, where you'll learn biblical and practical keys needed to unlock your business's six-figure potential. Kingdompreneurs, it's time for Marketplace Dominion. And now, here's your host, the business building expert herself, Ms. Sade Banks. Hello, and welcome to the Ms. Bankable Show, where we equip kingdom entrepreneurs to start, build, and grow six and seven figure businesses. And I am your host, Sade Banks, also known as Ms. Bankable, who during the pandemic helped my client to cross over into the six and seven figure revenue stream, as well as secure lucrative government contracts and secure additional properties for their business. So today I want to welcome the awesome Mrs. Pamela Manti. Pamela Manti is a two-time number one Amazon best-selling author, life strategist, entrepreneur, and a wealth builder who creates incubators to nurture women and the right moral atmosphere for the effective development of their purpose and passion. Pamela Manti has overcome significant health challenges, which has evoked her extraordinary passion for living life purposefully with intention. She teaches unique and proven entrepreneurial concepts to turn your ideas and gifts into wealth-making ventures. Come on, somebody. She is a powerful conference speaker and mentor to women around the globe. She is known for taking women on her journey of empowerment and transformation to become who they are called to be. Pamela Manti, the founder of It Takes Money Honey Network, a spiritual and marketplace hub with resources to help women birth their God-given purpose. It Takes Money Honey is also an events and media platform interviewing and engaging successful entrepreneurs and small business owners in inspirational, educational conversations, providing them with exposure and expansion of their brands. While teaching and equipping her audience with relevant strategies and techniques to have successful businesses. Pamela Manti is the author of several books, including Fulfilled, Five Keys to Achieve Your Dreams, and It Takes Money, Honey, Guaranteed Strategies to Wealth Building, Proven Tips for Financial Freedom, and Developing Faith, and Pain to Profit Anthology Book. So without further ado, let's bring in this awesome, amazing, talented woman of God, Pamela Manti. How are you today? I am doing great, Sade. How are you? I'm doing fabulous. I'm so happy that we finally had this opportunity to connect. Absolutely. And to do a show together, a podcast show together. So why don't you tell um, our audience some things about you? So um, as Shade said, I'm Pamela Manti, known as Pam by, you know, most people. Um, I am a married woman. I have a, a you know, a really amazing husband, Randolph Manti. We have five children, two grands. Uh, we live in Orlando, Florida. And uh, my passion and uh, my assignment is for women. I have a women's um, empowerment platform called It Takes Money Honey Network. And in this platform, we equip, we educate women, one, to discover their purpose, to monetize their potential for financial freedom and for global impact. And our global impact is huge for me. And because I believe that each and every one of us has something in us that we can pass on to the world. You know, anything and everything that we go through is for us to be able to, you know, to show other people, to help other people as a solution. And I also um, help women amplify their message and their voices through self-publishing, through books. So, you know, we find that a lot of um, mothers, mompreneurs, businesswomen, they want to write books, right? We know that we have 
you know, the assignment, God has placed a book or so many books in us, but we never find the time to write. So I help these women in an anthology where they can write their stories, publish, to become best-selling authors without the, re the resources, without spending thousands and thousands of dollars, and without much time. You know, so how people write their stories in two weeks or less and be able to get published. Wow you know, to become best-selling authors. And, you know, um, in addition, be able to build streams of income with that book. So I think that that is really huge. Oh, okay. So that's awesome. So you really partner alongside other entrepreneurs and you help them to share their stories. So that is beautiful. I'm, you know, how many times have we hear that facts sell? But, you know, stories have such a great and tremendous impact on the soul and on people's lives and really help to break people through and beyond hearing the testimonies of other people. So thank you so much for all of the work that you're doing in the kingdom, woman of God. Let me tell you guys how I actually met um, Mrs. Manti. So I'm just on Facebook and <laughs> she reaches out to me. <laughs> So you guys, you know, check your inboxes on Facebook and we have had a pretty good connection ever since. I think it's been a little bit um, over a year, maybe two since the last yeah. time that, we, um, that we've been back and forth connecting. So I'm so grateful for this opportunity. So let me ask you, how can a kingdom entrepreneur maximize their impact and influence in the global marketplace? I think, you know, for us to be able to, you know, maximize our impact, you know, it comes with looking within us. It comes with that, you know, one, we are not just entrepreneurs, we are kingdom entrepreneurs. And it means that our source is of God, right? So it means that we need to look within us, within what God has placed in us, the power, the potential, you know, my husband had taught a message that really was impactful to me. And, um, you know, it was with the scripture, see as thou a man, you know, diligent in his business, you know, he will not stand before, he will stand before, um, you know, kings, he will not stand before mean men. And that scripture was so powerful because it was teaching us that, we have everything that we need. God has placed within us everything that we need in order to come forth. You know, our, our purpose, our identity, our potential, our talents and gifts, everything is within us. So for us to be able to come forth into the marketplace, we really do need to know who we are. You need to know, you know, why you've been through so many things. And I usually say that out of our passion, you know, the pain that we go through, intense pain will derive intense passion. And whatever we are passionate about, that is what we want to help other people with. You know, why am I helping women? It's because as a woman, about 20 years ago, I found myself at a place where I had everything that I thought I, I needed, you know, I needed to have. I was born with a chronic disease I, that was terminal. I was told that I may not live to my late teens. So it was just, you know, what was purpose? I didn't know what my purpose was. It was in and out of the hospital, just survival. And I was told, you know what, I wouldn't be able to have any kids. If I tried, I would die at childbirth. You know, so I thought, you know what, there's no man that would marry me. I'm not going to be able to, you know, have children. Who wants to marry a girl who is sick and probably die? You know what I mean? So when I found myself at a place where I was married to this amazing man, and that story, I think we can share it later on, right? <laughs> but when I was at this place where... Um, I was married for, you know, for some years. We had three children at that time. Um, my husband has started the ministry. We were living comfortably, I should say. So um, why was it that I had all these things that I, was, I wasn't supposed to have, but I was feeling so unfulfilled and empty. I felt as if I was just existing. Mm, so yeah. that was my journey to find out who I was. Mm -hmm. And on that journey, God started having me bring other women along to, you know, uh, just to find their purpose, to impart them, to, you know, to empower them. 
So it was through that that God wanted me to start, you know, a, a women's network. And I started with Glow Women's Network. The transition to me starting It Takes Money Honey Network. And it was through my pain, my place of pain, that God turned to a place of purpose and that turned to a place of power and profit. You know, so for us to be able to go to the marketplace, one, we need to know who we are. What is your journey? What are you burdened about? You know, what do you want to help people with? Because this is the same place that God is going to unleash you into your greatness. And by taking it to the marketplace, by packaging it, you know, a lot of us spend time. We want, we have our jobs, we have our careers, but that is not the place of purpose for us, right? You know, we are making right. the money. We are, you know, going in and out, but we realize that upon all the money that we are making, the beautiful house and the luxury cars and everything that we are not fulfilled because that is not the place where God wants you to be. So you need to find that, you need to package it, you know, and not be, not look at your skills, your story, the, the, uh, the pain that you've been through as being insignificant. You know, look at the, the woman, <laughs> the widow woman, right? Who came to the, the prophet and said, my husband died and he left us all this dead and what should I do, mm-hmm. right? right. <laughs> and right. he said, Help what do you have in that. the house? What do you have in the house? What have you been through? What are your skills? What's your talent? What, are you, what, what, what is all that that God has placed in you? I need you to go take that, go borrow vessels, you know, poor, poor, poor. That is packaging what God has already placed in you that you might even think it's not, it's not, it's not important, that it's insignificant. And then take it to the marketplace in obedience, Shade, you know, putting all this together and being obedient, packaging it and putting it out there for people who really need it. Yes, I love how you really stress the point of obedience because God has given so many of us in the kingdom, so many great ideas, so many great inventions, things that he really wants to utilize, great testimonies that he wants to utilize to bless humanity and to advance the kingdom of God and advance his word and usher souls into the kingdom of God. So many vast plans that the, that the Lord has for us. And just like you mentioned, God has really placed in everybody an ability to use their gifts and their talents to generate income and to make an impact and I just love your story is so uh inspirational I mean just to really hear how God used you as a miracle you're literally a walking talking miracle of the Lord Jesus Christ and you found a way to be able to package that and to profit from it so I salute you woman of God very very I'm that it's it's a little it's make me a little emotional honestly to hear uh how far um god has brought you and the miracles that he has brought both in you and your husband's life so let me ask you what is uh christ's potential and how do we know that we're living up to that potential as business owners so one we know that our source is god right as christians everything is founded in god he is our creator. He is our manufacturer. Therefore, everything is founded in him. He embedded everything that we need, right, from our identity, which, you know, funnels into our purpose and then goes into our potential. You know, when you know your identity, you know what is in you. You know the purpose that God is calling you. And if you know your purpose, you know that there's potential to fulfill that purpose. God will not give you a purpose without you knowing that there's a potential. Once he has said, you know, that Pam, I want you to be a speaker. You are born to be a speaker, born to be a writer. You know, you are born to do this, this, that. You should know that he has given you the authority to do it. You might not see it, but when you take the step, you'll be able to see that, wow, I didn't know that I had this potential. I didn't know that I had this in me. You know, I didn't know that I had this knowledge. I'd be able to really get the wisdom because it is already in you. But if you want to, you know, do things your own way and look at, you know, run after all the shiny objects, right? Oh, this is good. This is the, this is good. But don't look at what God has called us to stay in our path. Then we will not be able to release that potential. 
So it starts one with our relationship with God. You Amen. know, when you look at Jeremiah, God came to him. Jeremiah was the, the, uh, the son of a priest. His grandfather was a priest. He thought he was growing up and being groomed to become a priest. And God said, you know, God came to him. Say the second time God came to Jeremiah one. God came to him and said, Jeremiah, I have called you to be a prophet. And not just any prophet, a prophet to the nations. My God. And he said, but God, you know, I am too young and I don't know how to speak. That is exactly what we do. Like, I don't know what to do. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I've not done that before. What are you talking about? But God said, what do you see? By the time God said, what do you see? He was at a place where he said, okay, God, I'm going to do this. Now, what next? He had embraced it. You know, so he started with a relationship with God and God revealed who he was to him. Not with his own, you know, sometimes we do things, you know, what our parents are doing and what they expect us to do, the um, the careers that they expect us. Oh, my son is going to be a doctor, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. You know, he's going to, no, but we need to be in line with what God wants us to do. And through that, he reveals that to us and he releases us into it. But we mm-hmm. first have to embrace it. And we have to know it and then we deploy, you know, that greatness, that um, potential that God has placed in us. The same with Paul. Paul was, he was a powerful man, right? He yes. was going around just, you know, saying this, oh, this one, put them in jail and put all the Christians and this and that. And then one day he met God on the road, you know, to Damascus. You know, he said, God, you know, who are you? He said, I am, you know, your God. God revealed himself to Paul. He became blind in about three days or so. Here was Paul after that, ministering with the, with the apostles, ministering with the disciples. And from there, he began to um, go out there, begin to plant churches and mentor and all that. He accepted what God had told him as hard as it was. He had to turn right around and be obedient to God because God had already placed what he was supposed to do. He was destined. His greatness was destined in that. And he had potential to do what God was calling him to do. So we really have to be able to line up, you know, align ourselves with what God wants us to do as business owners. We don't just go with the flow. Right, we align ourselves by the value, the journey that we've been through, and be able to take that to the marketplace. And that is where we can re- unleash that potential, maximize it, optimize it. You know, be able to impact ourselves, our families, our community, the nations, and the globe. Yes, I love that. So <laughs> everything that I'm taking from what you're saying is that in order to unleash the Christ potential, we have to be in alignment with Christ and we have to be willing to step out on the water like Peter and not look back and be obedient to what God is calling for us to do if we want to unleash that God potential. I love when you talked about Jeremiah, how Jeremiah just had it settled in his heart. I'm going to be a priest to Israel. That's it. But God said, no, I did not just relegate you to the nation of Israel, but I've relegated you to make impact, global impact. So I believe that prophetically, woman of God is speaking to those of you out there who are just saying, I just want to do mom and pop. I just want to do local. And God said, no, I'm called you to the nations to really stretch out, stretch yourself in obedience to unlock your, your full potential and make the impact that God has called us to make so that is just so powerful i love all of the biblical um examples that you gave us so uh what is your wisdom for entrepreneurs who want to thrive in business but also thrive in marriage and family (laughs) i love i love this question um woman of god i love it because as entrepreneurs we want to see the results we are goal oriented we push ourselves beyond the limit we want to reach out, you know, everything. We, we just go hard. But in the process, most of the time, we neglect so many things. We neglect our families. We neglect our health. We neglect so many things because we just want to make them, you know, get the coins, right? Make the money because you want to make the money for the families. Like, I, I pay these bills. So let, <laughs> if 
right. I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do, we can pay these bills. But then you get to a place where you have you have all this massive success and your wife has left, your children are all scattered, your husband, you know, so who is the success for? Right. So for me, I think it's something that I learned, you know, my husband and I did is to be able to find out what is our dream life, right? Uh What does God place in us as unique people? How do we want to live? Do you want to travel and be able to still do your business? Do you want to be able to have, you know, travel with your children? Do you want to, you know, like a a, a laptop entrepreneurial lifestyle where you can be on the beach working? You want to take a walk every day? Create a business to suit what you love. If you don't want to work on the weekends, then set it up so that you don't work on the weekends. You know, but some of us, we work 24 hours, seven days a week, and we wonder why our health is suffering. You know, we wonder why everything isn't going well. Maybe our business is booming, but you don't have any, but your your relationship isn't at a good place. So I think that we need to be able to set boundaries that we ourselves can live by, you know, and say that, you know what, I'm not taking any phone calls. I'm not doing any meetings, this, this, and that. Like on Fridays are my days to just relax. You know, I don't do anything on Fridays. If I do, it has to be an emergency. But I said that day as my dream day, a day to recap, to recharge, to rejuvenate, just to relax and say, okay, what am I, you know, what is supposed to come the next weekend to plan? What were the, some of the things that I did that I'm supposed to go back and redo? That is how I want it. I don't want to be working nine to five. You know, I want to be able to work four to five hours every day. And that is how I'm trying to set my business to reach that goal so that I can enjoy my grandchildren, you know, so that I can be able to take time off with my husband whenever we want. I don't want to be shackled by my business. So I think that as Christians, we also need to have it in mind that God has given us the the desires. We dream of so many things, but sometimes you know, in the midst of those, uh, the dreams that he has, we think that it's so huge, it's, you know, we can accomplish it. But when you plan, let God give you the wisdom. Know mm-hmm. that, like, that, you know, the life that you want to live and design your lifestyle, including your business around that. I love that. Design your lifestyle. One of the, one of the most prevailing reasons why businesses fail in their first year is due to burnout. Not taking that time, as woman of God said, to recharge, to refuel, to get back connected, make sure that you're in alignment with the vision God has set. Burnout kills businesses. And I love that, that you told us to incorporate your family in your vision, incorporate your family in the plans that you have for your business. You always have to stay connected to your why, and you always have to stay connected to your source which is Jesus Christ so I love those tidbits Um, we can get so caught up and wanting to chase the money and and chase everything else that we can be very neglectful as you said of the of our of our support and our family and our friends so let me ask you um, what are some programs or some um, yeah some programs or some opportunities that you have coming up that you want our listeners to know Yes. So one of my desires is really to be able to empower the women. Most of the women that are coming to me, I realize they want to write books. I realize that they have been awakened to that purpose. Um, They want to be able to complete that assignment. So I help them to really um, express themselves, articulate that story through the book. And beyond that, in the back end, I have a mentorship program. Um, So we have the anthology that is going on, helping the women to really write their stories in the book. And when they they want to write their own book, they can expand on the story that they put in the anthology. And I have a program that will teach them to do that so that they can publish their own books. Because now they have the scale, they have the experience, they know how to write their books easily, you know, through the anthology. And um, in the back end of that, I have a mentorship program whereby I help women with their mission and their money. So we help you to identify that um, the, the 
you know, the purpose that God has placed in you, your identity. A lot of us are struggling with who we are, um, what God has made us. We, we define ourselves with our negative experiences by what happened to us, by, but not what God is making us to be. You know, so I help that woman define themselves, so redefine themselves in God, in Christ, and be able to, you know, know their purpose, their potential, mm -hmm. and how can we package that potential for the marketplace? You know, many of us are becoming awakened that it's time for us to step out. I went through pain. I went through trauma. I was abused. You know, I want to help women with their businesses, you know, but it all comes out of our story. All of that comes from what we've been through. But how does it look like when you, you want to go from point A to Z, whereby you're going from your story to be able to package it for the marketplace? So that is where I come in with a gap and I bring experts apart from myself. I bring other experts, um, you know, in different um, industries and brands, you know, marketing, sales, all of that. Um, and we also talk about fitness. We talk about wellness, self-care. Mm -hmm. So we want to be able to have a total, a, a success for the woman with my mentorship program so that is what I have going on um if anybody is interested you can you know reach me at uh, www.ittakesmoneyhoney.com um so that I can give you more information or you can text me you know text purpose to 407-205-2995 and I'll be able to give you more information this is my passion and I am so excited at what God is doing right now in the lives of women, especially the lives of the, the women that are coming to me in my organization now. It is so beautiful, Shade. I'm hearing amazing stories and all I can say is, my God, you have such a great destiny to fulfill and I want to be a part of that. I want to be able to support you <laughs> in this Absolutely. journey. So it is very exciting. That is wonderful. You guys, did you hear Mrs. Manti? She's basically, God has given her the formula for how you can develop wealth without sorrow, how you can be a success in God, a success in your health, a success in your marriage, a success in your family, just a full on, full holistic life of success in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So you want to make sure that you go to, it takes money, honey. Is that what you said? Yes, it takes moneyhoney.com. Yes. It takes moneyhoney.com and sign up for her mentorship and for her program. And so when we're talking about money, you said the, the key word there, money. So how can we financially secure ourselves in the midst of global a, a global crisis? What we're, yeah. What's going on now? How can we financially secure ourselves? It is, I think that it starts with positioning, you know, positioning ourselves. We know the value that we have. We know the solution. We are the solution. We know that it is in us, but we have to creatively position ourselves in the marketplace. What is the market looking for? You know, for me, I know that the women who are coming to me, I have, I do my market research by talking to the women. I can't just put together a program and say, here, you know, this is what God plays on my heart. He wants me to support you, find your identity, this and this and this and that. Here you go, just buy it. No, I do my market research. I talk to these women and say, where are you struggling? Where do you want to be? You know, what, what is holding you back? So I get all these and sometimes I hear the same thing from these women. So I know exactly what they need. So if you position yourself in a place within the market where there is a need, people will come and buy because Absolutely. they know that you have the solution for them. But it is all coming within the value that God has already placed in me. So it is not difficult. My job is to be able to, um, to master what God has given to me because what he gives, he gives us the potential. We work on it, we master it, and we are able to package it and serve people, take them on a journey from A, where their problem is, to Z, getting them the solution. If you can help somebody get out of their pain, the solution is all they need. And if they know that you have it, that you are the key to their solution, the solution of their problems, they will come to you and they will buy. My, mem my members, I started a membership during the pandemic, Woman of God. Okay. 
during the pandemic, when we were home and God just tried, I had just lost my business. I was in travel. You know, mm -hmm. the cruises were the first, the, was the first industry actually to be closed when the pandemic started. Wow. And I was marketing a cruise for women. We were booked, ready to go in two weeks when the oh. pandemic started. So I had to refund. I lost money in that. I didn't know what to do. And God said, Pam, this is the time for you to talk to women. There are so many women who do not know their purpose. They, we were home. People had the time to really think, am I even living the life that I'm supposed to? You know, so I started talking to women and then, you know, they were like, you know, I want to be a part of this membership. Join the pandemic, woman of God. You know, so when you know what your market needs and you are able to communicate, do that research, you will be able to sell. And that is how you will do well in this economy. I mean, there are people making millions in months. Yes. You know, we shouldn't think that we can't do that. We just have to be able to step out and grow. If you don't know what you are doing, how can you even scale it up? If you're making it, you know, thousand a month, you have to scale it up to 5,000 to 10,000 to 100,000 and then scale it up to a million. But you have to start from somewhere and know what your market needs from you and give them the value that, the value that they need. I love that you gave us both spiritual keys, but also practical keys to help us to thrive in the midst of no matter what global economy is, you have given us two keys spiritual and natural to be able to thrive financially you heard her sell 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 that's what i picked up <laughs> discover you discover your identity get in alignment with christ put together your packages and sell what you have to offer to the marketplace the scripture tells us he that withholds the corn is cursed but he that selleth the corn is blessed so don't forget don't be too scared to sell your corn. So I thank you so much, Mrs. Manti, for coming and joining us here on the Miss Bankable Show. Do you have any closing words for the audience today? Oh, yes. Um, I know that this is a season that God wants to really bless kingdom preneurs. We have to be able, and God, this is what God wants for us to do, to be able to, you know, get in the marketplace, to be fruitful, to multiply, and to dominate you know, but we will not until we take the step. There are a lot of people out there looking for you. They are waiting for you. You are the solution for them. So don't be afraid to step out. Sometimes we think of the negative. We are fearful of failure. We are fearful of, oh, what if I succeed? What if I can manage it? I mean, we have a ton of things going through our head that is hindering us. But this is the season where God wants us to step out we are not going to win by ourselves, but we are going to win through relationships. Yes. We need to find out our destiny helpers. We need to find our destiny supporters, you know, destiny partners come together. That is how we are going to make great impact in what God is calling us to do. And it all comes with you stepping out and see that people do need you and they will pay for what you have to get. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me on your show. That's very powerful. And can you close us out in prayer? And then we'll Absolutely. call it a day. Yes. Absolutely. Father God, we thank you for this moment. I thank you for the woman of God, Shade, and the assignment that you have given to her, the talk show, her business, my God, what she is doing in this season. Bring in entrepreneurs and people on her show that you will use their voices to empower your people, to align them with what you are doing. Father, we pray that anybody who hears any anything of her show, any guests on her show. Father, I pray that the word will not fall into deaf ears, but as they hear it, they will be inspired. They will be encouraged. They will be fired up. There will be that fire that will burn within their bones to step out and to step up to do what you are calling them to do. I pray for Shade as well. Father, I pray my God that you let her business blossom, Lord. Father, lead her steps, order her steps to the people that you have called her to. Her destiny partners and destiny helpers, my God, that this show is going to go far. It will go global. It will be able to empower and equip people, oh God, kingdom preneurs who are supposed to step out right now, even in these times, to dominate and to take over this world. We give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Amen and amen. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, visit It Takes Money, Honey, to sign up for the mastermind programs and books that Mrs. Menti discussed on today's broadcast. You all take care, and I'll see you next Monday at 6 p.m. on the Miss Bankable Show. Bye-bye.